If I hover on any name here, then you can see a card appears up where we have the user information. And same thing happens when we hover on any mentioned username. And here you can see the header has different gradient than this one. So this has the blue header gradient. And if I hover on any other username, then you can see here we have different. So here we are creating the differentiation as well. So today we are going to build this intermediate level functionality. Welcome to 50th video of real world JavaScript series. Here I will show you the JavaScript just for the key features. So first we have this user data object where for each user we have different key value pairs that contains the information about the user. So the first thing that I will show you here, this is the smart positioning system. And this code intelligently detects the screen boundaries and position the card where they fit best. So when you access the GitHub repository link, which is present inside the description of this video, you can see its code and all the comments are also mentioned here for your help. And then we have some user experience enhancements as well. So if you hover on any card, it will not immediately show up that card. So if you hover on any username, it will not immediately show up. In case you are accidentally hovering on any username, so it will not show up. So if you are hovering for around 300 milliseconds then only it will show up so this is a kind of user experience enhancement and here's the code for that and when you hover on any username the card will appear up with different header gradients and this is just to keep the visual differentiation and i also want to tell you if you hover on any username or any name it will show you the card and all the states are properly managed with proper clearing of the timeouts to prevent the conflicts okay so this was just the overview of the code now before we take a look on our ui there is a request that please share this video with your friends and don't forget to drop a like and here we have the ui